Well, I'm going to give this a shot. Yeah, um, not saying Rob bailed today, but uh, he had, well, it's uh, Easter weekend. So he's like, oh, can we um, maybe uh, reschedule to Monday? Um, probably we can. It's just I work on Tuesday. He's got the week off next week. But um, if we can do it early enough, we can do the U.S. Civil War and be able uh, to uh, talk about the um, the Serbia game and so on and so forth. I actually don't even want to watch um, the Meandering Mike's uh, unboxing video um, for the Serbia game. I want to watch it with uh, Rob actually after we uh, go over the game together then go and look at it. So this is driving me nuts because I want to watch it and see what other people like. I just whatever. But anyways, let's get on to this. Um, so yeah, I just have to do a little bit of the uh, the Germans up there for the Central Powers move up near the uh, uh, the Prego River front, and that's it. But I did want to chit chat about a few things, uh, and I'll show you. Uh, and I also want to experiment and hope to God this does work when I shut the window. If it does, because I remember way back when it was about a year ago, almost when I was bringing my winter bike in, I think to. Um, drop it off and then I did like a half an hour uh, video I walked around with the the camcorder and I do remember shutting the window because I was doing uh, the little thing like I was pausing it so I'm hoping that'll be the case anyways I'm hoping you guys can see this I'm not sure if you can so I'll zoom in a little bit the things are looking grim for the Russians okay and so grim in fact like even here now, the Austrians are able to now start bringing troops in here. And it's only, I mean, there's nothing left here, man. So I'm not saying, uh, for a narrative perspective, you're darn right. I'm hoping that the Russians win the initiative on the next turn, for the next turn. I don't know if they'll be able to hang on uh, much more, uh, like from a strategic point of view kind of thing. If... Uh, the central powers get another crack at them because they're just about to consolidate everything and they've got four cavalry divisions appearing uh, as reinforcements way the heck over uh, here like I've mentioned to you uh, oh, here I don't know if it'll zoom out a bit here but over here let's hold on here this guy around here way the heck over here um, that's where all the re reinforcements for the Germans are going to be coming for the remainder of the month. What I'm saying is, it's a they're in, the Russians are yes are in a lot of deep trouble. This is going to collapse. There's no way. I, I, there's nothing nothing left. Um, so what do they do? Uh, I'm thinking like it's just bizarre. Like it's not like everything is now starting to become a salient because everything's just fallen apart. Before this used to be. A half decent spot now it's starting to look like it's going to be that it's going to be the spot that sticks out like a sore thumb uh, like I said it's not their turn yet but if it is uh, I'm seriously considering falling back all like up to Radom uh, here I don't know like this is in a realm I'm not into like I said before this is getting into my personality zone which is uh, scared to death get the like move back and if people like Rob or whoever, um, when they play me, if they can smell that, if they can smell blood that way, I, you take advantage of it. Um, that's what you should be doing with me. But, uh, of course, here I am. Anyways, so, yeah, of course, fall back, hold on to Warsaw, but what an effing disaster. And the thing is, the big kicker is that's their, that's their safety zone, is the uh, is East, is East Prussia. Gosh, I can't wait to get a better... Uh, Tripod, this thing just sucks, man. It drives me up the tree. I think I use, I mean, I prefer the camcorder so much more than the uh, the mobile phone. But the reality is the mobile phone at the moment, because this effing cam uh, tripod is, um, yeah, that's it. Just give it to that thing and uh, uh, I'll just, yeah. Come on, Chris. Okay, let's try this pause button thingamajig. Because I want to go to the, uh, the Martin Gilbert Atlas of, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, exactly, the First World War uh, Atlas. The reason why I want to get to that is for a couple of reasons. One, it, uh, it's going to talk about the Grand Campaign and how to get uh, some of the stuff that's going to get into. And secondly, when I was mentioning about the live stream, when I was saying there's a lot of attacks near Metz in in um, around the Argonne and area and there, and uh, what do they call it, the Louvre District and stuff. Um, and I thought maybe it was potentially... Um, 
some of the posturing to get ready for the second battle of the of Ypres and I thought that was one of the rail lines that was uh, very easily defended uh, by the central powers so I thought I thought that was a bit odd that they were going for that spot and well I'll show it to you in a minute and um, like in real life I mean and so I thought maybe it was a diversionary uh, way of doing things, you know what I mean? So the Entente was trying to tell the Central Power, say, could you come on over here? Like I've been doing in, in real, it's so weird the way things parallel. And, but, you know, different circumstances here, different front, fronts for crying out loud. But no, it's, uh, when I took a look, you'll see it's at the maps up there. It's actually, that's one of the big cr uh, kicker rail lines, uh, the one that's going to, uh, well, two of them actually, going to Frankfurt. And I was like, okay, that's the ones that the Entente historically were saying, okay, that's what we're going to start getting ready to nail uh, nail in the second battle of the Ypres. Okay, let's see if this works. If it doesn't, then I'm screwed.